Arrow's Rest at Hotties would be the location for the first round of the Nomadic Enduro World Cross Country Series for 2016. And with a huge turnout of 290 riders, it was going to be a competitive start to the season. Riders and pit crew set themselves up, checking timing tags and making sure their documentation was all good to go. We caught up with some riders to talk about the early part of the season. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good weekend. I haven't raced here in Arctic for a while. It's going to be nice and sunny, so it's going to be tough out there. Eh? Hi, I'm Kenny Gilbert. I'm now racing for Cargo Racing. Um, yeah, I'm here to defend my championship from last year, the EWXC. So yeah, I'm looking forward to putting in a good season and riding my new bike. Apparently it's really gnarly terrain today, so it should be good. I'm racing in the E1 class, <laughs> which should be um, a little bit of fun. It was expected to be a very hot and dusty day, which would not make it any easier for the competitors. All the riders huddled under the small bit of shade provided by the nomadic tents and riders briefing to hear what the race organizer Gary Franks had in store. It was expected to be a tight battle at the front between Brett Swanepoel and reigning EWXC champion King Kenny Gilbert. But let's not forget about Dwayne Clenums. He has been the most prolific winner in EWXC racing history with three titles to his credit. One of the new riders lining himself up there on some new kit, Sherco in the house, in the hands of Dean Lindsay. Keegan Ike showing us just how fast the pace of the 200cc, that's the E1 class, would be. Later, unfortunately, he would suffer a hand injury courtesy of the shop rocks. <laughs> After being the second rider out of the gate, Brett Swanepoel stretched out his lead early on and would show a clean pair of heels to the rest of the field. Kenny G on the now Cargo Racing Husqvarna doing all the chasing with former champion Clanhams in third. These three stretched out. The Masters were all out and had done the training in the off-season. Wayne Everton took the lead in the Masters class, followed by Otto Holacher and Sean Kirk on the beater. Baron Erasmus put in a good effort, but it was Swanepoel who took the victory in the E1 class. King Kenny went on to take a solid victory in the E2s, his first time out in competition on the cargo racing Husqvarna, and the number one plate went all the way to the top of his category, but second in the overalls. Wayne Everton, all smiles and pumped to take the first victory in the Masters. For everyone else still out on the trail, it was about survival. Let's take a look at the results in the E1s. It was about Swanepoel, Clenhams and Besta, the top three with everyone else doing the big chasing, but strong pace coming out of the 200s. In the E2s, that's the open category, King Kenny taking the big win ahead of Erasmus and Hein van Kirk Jr. stepping up onto the plates. In the Masters, Wayne Everton, the big man out of brother, winning out over the long legs of Horlacher and Kirk on the beater. In the Seniors, all about Stevie Carr riding out of Roos KTM once again, just winning ahead of Berta and Tommy Seaver. It was time for the club class to start at 12 o'clock, the height of the day. With the track well worn in and all the loose rocks hopefully pushed out by the pro and senior riders, making things easier for the rest of the categories. Start the lap on board with Erhard Birkus in the high school class. Luke Walker about to make the pass, and that's the lead. Chris Engel staying consistent on the KTM in the silver class, with Adriano Catalano taking it easy down the sketchy hill, which did end up catching quite a few riders out. Eagles rest. There's no rest out there. By midday, the temperatures were soaring to a dangerous 38 degrees Celsius, and it was actually decided by the clock of the course and the officials to end the race early due to the serious risk of riders dehydrating. 
Luke Walker, coming in to take second in the high school class, showed some relief to the news of the race being stopped. Matthew Henderson taking a well-deserved third position in the Pro Mini class. With little wheels on those big rocks, it ain't easy. The club results showing that Seppo Masilo took the win ahead of Shannon Hurley and Andrew Paluta. In the silver class, one of the biggest categories on the day, Ludwig Janse van Furen had it in the bag with Chris Engel hot on his heels and Barry Brown rounding out the top three. The Pro Minis was made up by Carl Purchase who took the victory ahead of brothers Joshua and Matty Henderson in second and third on the podium. The high school class saw an out-of-towner take the win, Vian Lahani from the low felt ahead of Luke Walker and Tommy Ferreira. The green results showing that on the easier track, Jordan Cowley won out ahead of Steph Lorden and Donovan Labaskakny. And then finally the junior results, Boren Toy wins out ahead of Johan Lahani and Soren Peterson in third. Our riders received some great trophies thanks to the woodworker Mike and our overall winners got to take home some incredible prize money once again thanks to Nomadic Tents. A huge thanks go out to all of our sponsors, Nomadic Tents, Motor Lubricants, Mayfair Gearbox, Mike the Woodworker and all of our other sponsors.